This is New England Daily. News, weather, opinion, talk. Right now on NECN. Revolution is, is radical. Taking over the government is, is radical. But this is not. This, this is a peaceful separation. Fed up in Vermont. Real talk about seceding from the Union. It's our cover story. A small group of people gathered in Charlotte, Vermont today to talk about the future of the state and the nation. They have many concerns. They believe the U.S. is unsustainable, immoral, and ungovernable, and they don't believe a new administration will fix the problem. They have a proposal that's a bit more drastic. NECN's Anya Hanagi has more in tonight's cover story. The numbers at the meeting were small, but the ideas big. They have a perfect right to secede. Sitting in a circle in Thomas Naylor's Charlotte, Vermont living room, they compared notes on a concept that has captured each of their interests and time, secession. It's very refreshing and encouraging to find that we have uh, uh, compatriots in New England and, and uh, in the West, uh, Hawaii, Alaska. Participants in Tuesday's North-South Secession Summit come from different backgrounds in different states, Vermont, New York, Virginia, but they all believe their country is in trouble. There are really four major problems this country faces. Their peak oil, their climate change, the precipitous decline in the dollar, and President Bush's war on terror. And they believe secession is the fix. Kirkpatrick Sale is the director of the Middlebury Institute, an organization dedicated to studying secession. He says the ultimate dissolution of the American empire, as secessionists call it, is inevitable. All empires have dissolved eventually uh, under certain conditions. And those conditions seem to be the ones that we are uh, in now or, or coming to. The timing of this summit is no coincidence. It was on this day in 1777 that Vermont declared its independence and for 14 years was its own republic, just as Naylor says it should be today. A concept, he says, that's gaining support. A survey last year by the University of Vermont found that in one year, the number of Vermonters who supported secession rose from 8 to 13 percent. Of course, there are many who don't support it, including Vermont Governor Jim Douglas, who has said he doesn't believe secession should or will happen. We don't take the uh, movement seriously. Vermonters do have a right to be annoyed with what's going on in Washington, D.C., but I don't think the answer is secession. I won't uh, uh, delude myself or you by suggesting that this idea is uh, widespread, uh, but certainly uh, we have traction. These secessionists know it may take some time to sell others on their idea, an idea some see as extreme and radical. Revolution is, is radical. Taking over the government is, is radical, but this is not. This, this is a peaceful separation uh, of parts. They believe secession will sell itself as a reasonable solution to a frightening and worsening problem. In Charlotte, Vermont, Anya Haneke, NECN.